Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Never To Do Mistakes for Network Engineers, an exclusive series only on Network As Home YouTube channel. Now today I have come up here with another mistake that the network engineers generally make. So let's directly jump into the video. Here on my screen, you can see the agenda for today's video, which is about human errors or negligence. So let's see what kind of mistakes we can make. So while configuring a device, it's possible that we are not checking the configuration, which can lead to serious problems, which can cause outages. So we'll see what happens when you run a command, which already exists in your device. And then you think that, okay, you gave the command, right? And then what happens that your router is also not giving a notification that this command is already present in your running configuration. And that's something we have commonly noticed in case of devices like routers or switches. So if a command is already present in your running config and you give the same command again, right? So they may not give you notification. Does it overwrite or replace? What happens with the command, right? And if it does not, right? Then what will happen if I run the command and then I remove it? These are few of the things that can cause problems. Now let's see what will happen. Cisco routers and switches, they generally do not give any information or message about whether a command is already present in the running config or not. If a command is already present, you give the command again, still the router will accept the command. It will simply overwrite it. It is just going to overwrite. That means the previous command that was present, it's just going to replace the command. For example, for uh, you have a route or access list or maybe any other configuration. So you give the same comments again and it will just replace those comments. It will not give you a notification that there is uh, these comments are already present. And if you delete or remove it, then the command that was already present will also get removed, right? So this is more about you know human error or negligence when you don't refer to existing configuration before making any changes. So you should first of all always have a backup and before doing any configuration, you should always check it. For this thing, let's create such kind of scenario. Now to create such kind of scenario, what I'll do is I'll have routers, setup of routers, where I'll execute some command and I'll see that the message does not already exist. So first we will log into the router and we will execute certain commands which are already present. So first I'm going to show you that the yes, the command is already present. Then we will try to give the same command again. And we'll see that the router does not give you any warning or messages or anything, any notification that tells you that the command already exists. And then we will remove that command and we will see that what kind of problems can happen, right? Which can also lead to outages. So let's see about that scenario. And after that, we will be seeing about the prevention approach. So here, as you can see on my screen, I have two routers, R1 and R2, which are connected to each other. And I have certain configuration in these routers. Now let me take you to the console of these routers. So this is the console of R1 and R2. Now first I'll show you a configuration. So if I show you, first of all, let me show you the connectivity that I have a connectivity uh, to 10.1.1.2. So I'm able to reach 10.1.1.2. And then another uh, network I have that is uh, ping 100.1.1.1. Even I'm able to reach this network. Okay. But, and another thing also, let me show you do show run pipe section IP route. So you can see there is a route present here. But what I'm doing is I'm not checking this configuration, right? Let me exit again. So let's say I got the access to the device, and within the device, I was checking the connectivity to maybe 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. So I'm checking connectivity to 8.8.8.8. .8 this is the connectivity I'm testing here. And you see, I'm not able to reach, okay? And since I'm not able to reach, you think that, okay, maybe there's not a route present, default route is not present. So that's why uh, you are not able to reach, okay? So what do you do? You go to the global configuration mode without checking any configuration, right? Without checking your router's previous configuration, you are just going and typing a route. You say IP route 0.0.0.0, 0.0.0.0, .0, .0 and you give your route. Okay, so you gave the configuration, and then what you did is you tested again, do ping a dot a dot a dot eight, and still the things doesn't work, right? Still it is not working, and since it is not working, you think that okay this route is of no use. So what I'll do is I'll remove this route. 
no IP route 0.0.0.0, 0.0.0.0, and then 10.1.1.2. You remove this. And since you remove this, what happened? That this also replaced the command that was already present in your router. Now what? You went home and then the next network engineer that came into the organization was getting so many reports of, you know, not having connectivity with the 100.1.1.1. You see here, do ping 100.1.1.1. And even they have lost the connectivity. Earlier they were having the connectivity, the route was already present. So you may have a tough time explaining this thing that, okay, why this thing happened. And even if they will ask you that, did you make any such changes? And you might go and say, that whatever the changes I made, whatever the comments I gave, so I removed all those comments. And due to your mistake, due to human error, or due to your negligence, the organization faced what? Outage. They were not able to connect. So these kind of issues can lead to serious problems in the organization. And to avoid them, what are the approaches? So first thing you can, you know, before making any sort of changes, you must check your configuration that is already present. Okay. And, uh, if you want to see any changes recently happened, so you can check the logging. Okay, so here all the logging attempts will be there. Whatever the logs are generated, all those logs you can see here. Okay, so this is something that you can see in the logs also, right? Another thing is that whatever the changes, let's talk about the preventive approaches here, that how you can avoid such kind of human errors or negligence. So before doing anything, so the preventive approach about this is always know what you're doing, okay? And what will be the impact of it? That means whatever the comments you're going to execute in the device, what will be the impact of all the devices? So the first preventive approach is always know what you're going to do and what will be the impact of comments what you have executed in the device. And always refer or check the existing configuration before making changes to the configuration, okay? Before writing any new comments or removing the comments, always check the existing configuration. That makes a lot of impact. And after changes also, make sure you take a look at the configuration, you test the connectivities, right? So these are sort of preventive approaches that you can use. So I hope you find this information helpful. If you find this video useful to you, do like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.